Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to round number four here in the One Hub Tier 2 Championship. My name is Ivan Mike, going to be taking you through the action. Of course, joined alongside with me every single week on a Sunday evening is the one, is the only, is Mr. Omi. Omi, how are you doing, mate? Hello, Mike. Doing very, very well indeed. One Hub is back. Uh, really looking forward to this race around Brazil. What a brilliant venue uh, it is to be going racing as well. A lot of history around this circuit. Uh, obviously, you have the two DRS zones. So I think we're going to be in for a lot, a lot of action. Yeah, of course, uh, the 4.3 kilometer circuit, 2.6 miles in length. Two DRS zones, as you mentioned, one down in towards turn number one into the center s's and then another one on the exit the center s's going down in towards turn number four i mean i know there's uh names for the corners but uh if i could pronounce them that would be another thing but as it as it is yeah 15 corners 10 to the left and of course five to the right and as you mentioned such an iconic track i mean we've seen some great uh historic races in the past and who can never forget is that glock that moment when Lewis Hamilton won his very first World Championship back in 2008. And not only that, I mean, we've seen yeah. incredible moments. Obviously, uh, what's called Brazilians winning in uh, Brazil as well for like, you know, the iconic moments like Massa. Obviously, he missed out yeah. on the championship in 2008, but he won the race. And it was such a, a big moment for the Brazilian uh, crowd there. And obviously, in more recent, more recent times, I mean, we've had Alonso with his deck chair. <laughs> We've had uh, what's called contact with uh, Verstappen and Hamilton. Like, honestly, like looking back at like just the chaos that is this track. I mean, what are your favorite like moments now from it? Well, there's been a lot of moments. I mean, a lot of them haven't been favorites, but uh, obviously you have the two Ferraris crashing as well in 2019. You had Hamilton giving Gasly a run to the line as well. Hamilton Albon colliding all in 2019 as well. That was an absolutely cracking race won by Max Verstappen and then 2016 that wet uh, dramatic race as well so yep this circuit really does deliver and obviously to 2021 Lewis Hamilton uh, being disqualified from qualifying then making up a lot of places in the sprint and then winning the race on the Sunday as well so so many moments you've had around this uh, circuit and I think in one hub it's a perfect circuit to be going racing out so much everything opportunities battles can continue all the way up the hill sometimes to Ferragero as well so it's just fabulous this circuit yeah, absolutely, and of course, uh, we're going to be uh, moving over to look at the current race stand, or the championship standings. Of course, uh, JM taking a victory uh, last time out, and of course, he is uh, leading the way in the championship, currently on uh, 53 points. He's got a nice 16-point gap to second place round Red Matt, and honestly, these two, since... Uh, since round three, I've really been, they've been up in their game and been going toe to toe with each other. Yep, absolutely. They've been absolutely brilliant. And it's all about uh, who is going to minimize these results in the, who's going to minimize the bad results, I should say, uh, in the next few races, races as well. And, and, and at the end of the day, uh, when we get to the final race, that's who's going to be the championship uh, winner. Always scoring those points, always minimizing those bad weekends as well. So... Yeah, really, really close championship battle is looking like, and it's really heating up to be a great one. Yeah, and of course, uh, Specialist has been consistent over the past couple of races. Of course, uh, sitting on 36 points, 35 points for Cam K Mum in fourth. Key on 34 points, uh, 33 points for the matter. Of course, he, uh, he missed round two, and he came back to get a P4 in round three. Uh, obviously, Senna uh, getting himself uh, back up into contention on 32 points as well he's down to seven so essentially one point separate in seven to six one point separate in sixth to fifth one point separate in fifth to fourth one point separate in uh fourth to third and one point separate in uh third to uh second so incredibly close as uh qualifying is underway here in the in the session but uh we've got a few things to go over before we jump into the action here Absolutely. Uh, obviously, all of these drivers uh, currently racing did uh, tell us a tiny bit as well about uh, how they uh, are feeling going into this one as well. So uh, we really get to know what the drivers are thinking, how their pace is like, and we find out some extraordinary stuff when we get to the end. For example, uh, also I have to mention last time out as well, where Winner was saying, well, uh, 
I'm I'm really struggling with the tires. I, I might not be able to. Uh, uh, so, 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 so that's going to be a big issue. But well, actually, they won the race, so uh, it really wasn't. So it was just incredible. As Jonas has gone for a little spin as well uh, on his outlap. But as uh, you mentioned, we'll get into qualifying very, very soon. We've got some very important stuff to go over. Yeah, of course. And uh, one thing as well is uh, that man down here in 20th place making his return uh to tonight oh. and obviously we was able to get a uh, a bit of a word coming through from gaza man himself uh in the press conference so let's go let me just uh get all that up uh, as yeah gaza man we managed to get a few words from him uh you know we asked him how's it feel uh what's called being placed in uh, P2 tier and having missed the first three races, what will his targets be for the remainder of the season? And of course, Gazman responded saying he's glad to be back, he loves this league, and he feels like he'll struggle at first uh, due to not having the game uh, till a few days ago. So he's very new to the game, so it could be a bit green yeah. there for Gazman, but hopefully, he can pick up a few places remainder of the season, hopefully, challenging for top eight most races. So, Gazman. Uh, He's, he's looking to come through and be competitive. Uh, I, I don't know where uh, Omi has gone, but uh, not only that, uh, if you look at the championship standings right, right now, P8 and P9, obviously Jonas and Lawrence in a heated battle with each other. And of course, uh, you know, we asked them a little bit about uh, the battling and we were only able to get a word in from Jonas. So obviously we asked him uh, only a few points separating uh, him thus far as I think uh, Omi is uh, back now. Omi, are you good? Oh, I believe we're having uh, connections issues uh, with Omi for the time being. Um, yeah, not, not looking good uh, for, for my call com at the moment, but... Yeah, we got a word with uh, Jonas in terms of the uh, the battle he's having with Lawrence in the standings right now. As you can see, P8 and P9, only three points separating them. Uh, we asked him, only a few points separating you guys so far. How do you feel uh, your season is going so far? And did you expect to be a little bit higher up at this point? And Jonas responding, said he thinks he's had a season that's been a bit of a roller coaster. He's had the pace, but also he's had an instant or two uh, in, uh, in two of the races which has hampered his results. If he can get a clean race in, he thinks that uh, the points should start rolling in. So, yeah, I mean, uh, as it currently stands, yeah, I mean, uh, Jonas looking to get himself uh, up the order. And of course, uh, that's how things are looking in the driver standings. Obviously, we went down to 9th, obviously 10th is Wesley, Miami in 11th. Apex 12th, Quinn in 13th, Ali B 14th, uh, Jordan in 15th, Oshin in 16th, Rydog in 17th, Cam Wilson 18th, uh, Speed Knighton in 19th, and of course Gazaman uh, coming through uh, to take up that 20th spot. And of course, uh, looking at the constructors, is the Alfa Romeo team, 8 points clear at the top on 69 points, and they had the Alfa Tauris chasing them down on 61 points in second place with uh, Williams currently in third on 54. 41 points for uh, Red Bull Racing. McLaren in fifth on 37 points. 36 points for the sixth place team Haas F1. AMG Petronas uh, for Mercedes in uh, P7 with uh, 34 points. 23 points for the Alpine team. The Scuderia Ferraris in ninth on 20 points and the Aston Martins at the back on 15 points and i believe now we do have our co-com back with us i did hear a little bit of Hello? in the background yes we have got you how is it going on me <laughs> um right i was speaking uh when you did actually uh throw it back to me but um yeah my mic decided or actually discord decided to disconnect my mic basically even though it was connected to the pcs so it was basically all sorts of uh mess but um yeah i'm back now that's the only thing that matters yeah, of course, uh, let's go. Well, uh, while you were sorting out the issues, obviously we mentioned about the uh, the rivalry that's going on at the moment between uh, Jonas and, of course, uh, Lawrence. Very close to each other in terms of the championship, only a few points separating them. Jonas, uh, we had a few words uh, from him in the chat. Obviously, he's saying that, uh, what's called, that he just needs to get a clean race in because he's had two instances so far, which he feels has hampered his results. So, 
he, he wants to get a clean race in and this could be the race where he gets that clean race in and try to step his way up the order. Yep, absolutely, obviously. Lawrence and Jonas, I've been mentioning them, obviously, uh, quite a bit as well uh, over the last few races. Uh, the P3 tier uh, champions, I was commentating on that one, um, both of them fighting for that championship in that season. So, uh, but when when I so right right so basically when I saw they were both in the same tier, I was kind of like I I kind of expected them to be really close, and they really were. So yeah, um, quite between those two, and I think this is just going to be a fight that will continue all the way, really close as expected as well. Uh, so yes, yeah, it's, it's it, it it really is an interesting rivalry going on between these two drivers, uh, and I think they're very close on the circuit. So uh, I think they're both going to want to beat each other. Yeah, of course. And uh, another thing is, obviously, uh, we managed to get some pre-race interviews in from a couple of the drivers. Obviously, uh, Senna being the first one we will come to. Obviously, uh, we welcomed him to Interlagos. How's he feeling about the race weekend? He said he's feeling good. He took a few days uh, off after last week's bad result uh, to refresh his mind. But he's getting excited to get going here today for Brazil. Amazing track for racing. And, of course, a home track of the one that he is named after Ayrton Senna so he really wants to do well and put that Senna name to good mm -hmm. use and currently he's up in the P4 and of course the uh, the first three corners obviously known as the Senna S's and will we see Senna fly through some <laughs> overtakes with the Senna S's? It'll do definitely uh, cause a lot of action uh, if he wants to make some moves if any of the drivers were, uh, were able to and I think it's it, it, it really is a good overtaking spot, but JM also saying I haven't done any practice to be honest. I've spent my time testing the cart in AMS too, so, think my, so, so things might get spicy. So obviously he might have a tiny bit more work to do as well. Um, uh, so it's going to be really, really uh, interesting. And then um, asks about the track, he says uh, it's a much better track than Hungary, but not really uh, my favourite. So it's a good circuit for him, but not really one of his uh, top favourites. And then uh, his aims for uh, the weekend as well is finish on the podium again and extend my gap in the championship. Yeah, and of course, uh, Stan is saying that the, what's called this track, historically has been a good track for him. He's had some very good comebacks, few pole positions, hoping to continue the form here tonight. Obviously, uh, Ride Dog, another driver that we managed to get a couple of words from uh, regarding this track. Uh, he's optimistic about uh, this race here tonight and uh, in terms of uh, whether he enjoys racing around it, he said it's all right, I suppose. So uh, sh a few short words from uh, from Ray Dog, very Kimi uh -huh. Reckon esque in my opinion. Yep, indeed. Red map saying feeling okay, aiming for a top five here. Always some great battles here. So being on pole isn't really the best place here. Yep. So you're always doesn't matter what position you are, you're always going to be challenged. Especially if you're in P1, you're going to be challenged by all of the drivers behind you as well. So it's going to be a really, really interesting one. And then. Um, even though I'm not quick around here, it is one of my favourites. Obviously, it's it. It really is one of those circuits which all drivers like, even though they might not uh, be very quick around here. But uh, it's a very enjoyable circuit, I have to say, for us to commentate, for the drivers to drive, um, and for everyone to watch as well. A really great circuit this is, and I think uh, it always delivers one of the best races uh, in real life as well. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, uh, Rydog hoping for points here tonight, and. Uh... You know, Senna's hoping to gain some points back in the championship. Obviously, he references uh, Imola where he had an amazing weekend, but uh, an absolute disaster in uh, Hungary. So he's going to be hoping to claw some points back. Obviously, with uh, JM as well, I believe uh, JM's going to be hoping to extend the gap even uh, even further in the standings. And of course, uh, Red Matt aiming for a top five result here. So. Some varied, uh, some varied predictions coming from uh, these guys, and of course, yeah, JM saying uh, he wants another podium, extending his gap in the standings. And of course, we got just over seven minutes to go in qualifying. As it currently stands, it's a one minute eight flat from Oshin, and Oshin up there on the uh, provisional pole right now, three times clear, and that's a very good uh, qualifying performance from Oshin so far. <clears throat> mega, mega uh, time by Oshin uh, currently just put that in in the Red Bull as well. So great, great stuff and. Um, around this kind of circuit to have a to have that kind of margin it's really really good it releases some pressure as we always mention uh, as we always mention as well uh, in the final stages so Ushin really currently in a good position but uh, throughout this session I think we're going to continue to see a lot of improvements and a lot of other drivers get uh, onto uh, 
get onto path with him and then probably uh, try and also go faster. So currently he's got a bit of an advantage um, and, uh, and, and I have to say a brilliant, brilliant first lap by him. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, uh, one thing that we always do, we like to shout out the sponsors. So Next Level Racing providing some fantastic uh, prizes for the champions, uh, second and third in the championship and of course, uh, or of the drivers at uh, Asterix uh, offering a set of sim racing boots with shortest combined qualifying time. Pure sim gear with a, a fantastic uh, price of either sim racing gloves or sim racing socks. And of course, the mystery shirt box being another uh, interesting prize. And I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what's in this uh, mystery box. It looks very intriguing. And of course, when the going gets tough, ERT, uh, one of our partners in crime here in One Hub, obviously the going gets tough, uh, going gets tough competition as you can see right there, attending all races, finishing outside the top three, uh, complete or pre and post race interviews, and of course our spot, our partners with uh, Vespervin with ERT and of course with Sim Grid and obviously uh, Sim Grid as you would have seen just uh, a few moments ago was uh, where we were getting the standings from so massive shout out to Sim Grid for that but I think with five minutes to go in the session it's a perfect time to jump over to the action out there on track yep absolutely and um, uh, as usual big thanks as well to our sponsors who make it possible for us uh, to bring you all of this action here on uh, Sunday evenings and um, really uh, and, and also due to them we're, we're able to get such a brilliant competitive uh, and clean grid crucially as well so um, yeah big thanks to them um, and we currently have Redima on a lap as well I think with DRS open towards time four Yep, Red Mad uh, coming through the first sector. He's a tenth up on his time. He needs to find a few attempts more if he wants to challenge Oshin. As uh, obviously, this track being a track that can throw up a lot of drama in terms of the weather conditions. And of course, we did ask the drivers uh, what kind of uh, conditions they were hoping for. Obviously, uh, JM said he'd rather a dry race and as he hates the handling in the ring. Uh, when it comes to Red Matt, Red Matt saying ideally he, ideally he does not want uh, a wet race. He'll be hoping it stays dry, and I think that is going to be the uh, the mindset of everyone out there. As uh, actually, not Right Dog saying that he wouldn't actually mind if it was to happen. So Right Dog potentially putting in a bit of a uh, wet weather Red practice, Matt. and uh, obviously Senna saying that. Uh, he doesn't mind rain. Rain always takes a, a bit longer to get used to in racing conditions, but after a few maps, a few laps, he tends to find a good and consistent pace. So, a little split there in terms of uh, whether or not they want rain. Two drivers don't mind if it does come, and two drivers are against it. <laughs> yeah, definitely a bit of a mix. While that was, while you were mentioning all those, Red Mac going to the front of the field, so he was able to find an even bigger step forward through the second and third sector, which takes him over a tenth clear of currently his nearest rival, Ushin. So this will just be uh, the track improvements. We're still yet to see Ushin, Senna, and Ali B, who is currently uh, heading back into the pits as well, of what they can do um, at this part of the session. But they'll be heading out in about a minute's time as well. Um, for their final runs and it's going to be a really really uh, interesting one red map will be heading back to the pit lane as well but super super exciting uh here in one hub with uh red map versus the i think senna um and ali b drivers like this are all going to get involved as well as we see an improvement uh there by rider over the lamp by three tenths of a second to go into seventh uh, speaking of, Ray Dog obviously got caught in an instant last week with uh, Miami, and the stewards have deemed Ray Dog at fault for that. So, one penalty point added to his license. So, I mean, Ray Dog there getting uh, called up with the stewards after last week. And obviously, 17 drivers uh, here tonight. Obviously, Ray Dog currently up in uh, P7. How do we think the Alpine is going to go here? 
could be very, very uh, exciting, I have to say. Both of them pretty much uh, together right now. Obviously, Vesti, uh, not going to set any more times in this uh, qualifying session. Rydog still probably with maybe one more uh, run to go as well. So, uh, got to be really exciting to see what they are able to do. And it's really exciting to see what the whole field can actually do. Really competitive good this is. Um, so, looking forward to it, absolutely, as uh, we're getting into the final uh, mi few minutes now, final uh, one and a half minute now. So, the fast laps are going to start coming in as well. Yeah, so I'm coming to board with ERT Jordan in the Ferrari, coming to the line now, and it's going to be a... It's a marginal improvement, doesn't really get him up any positions, but it puts him on the same exact time as the championship leader, JM, who is coming to the line to begin his lap. And we're going to stay on board with him now for this entirety of the lap, breaking down in towards turn number one as we go through the center S says through turn two, clipping the inside curve, getting onto the outside uh, curve on the exit of uh, turn two, and it turns into the inside for turn three. DRS wide open on the run down in towards turn number four, where we'll be seeing Quite a lot of overtaking opportunities down the inside or around the outside here. Now through the left hander of turn number five as we climb up the hill to the double right hander of six and seven. Not really a place you want to be going side by side, but definitely can happen. Now through turn number eight, breaking down as you travel uh, up and down the hill now. The elevation changes around this track, absolutely fantastic. Uh, through turn 10 now uh, where we have seen plenty of overtakes in the past now for the king of turn 11 into turn 12 the last real breaking zone and the last real corner on this track so the climb up the hill now through 13 and now through the left hander of 14 and obviously the final left hander of 15 as the checker flag has fallen in the session JM to the line and it's going to be a 1 minute 8.1 from the championship leader Great time by him. There's still improvements coming in behind as well. Checkered flag is out. Ushin won't be one of the drivers able to find one as well. Redemat down a tiny bit. Senna though is absolutely electric as well. Currently as he makes his way through. But he needs to find even more time. He's currently over 4 tenths down. So he needs something magical right at the end of the lap. Yeah, Oshin uh, well down on his time. As Senna is a tenth off of his time in the middle sector. Ali B in valid lap time. Same for Lawrence. Uh, Red Matt, I believe, is out there on a lap as well. He's behind his teammate on track. Teammate is uh, six times down. Uh, Quinn is invalid on his one. We got Key to the line now, and it's a marginal improvement for speed. Key, but I think that's the end of uh, qualifying because uh, Red Matt uh, backed off at the end of the lap. So, yeah, an invalidation there for Red Matt. So, that is the end of qualifying. Red Matt takes pole position here in Brazil. Absolutely, a tiny bit of a weird one. We didn't get too many improvements actually uh, in, in that one as well. A lot of drivers invalidating, as you said, key finding an improvement of time but not position. So, uh, a really, really interesting qualifying, though. Really, really interesting grid going into the race. Coming up, Red Mat alongside Oshinu will have the inside line going into the into turn number one. So that's going to be an interesting front row of the grid. What can Senna do against JM? Really interesting and obviously strategy. What will the weather be like? So many questions as well uh, in this one. So going to be exciting, but I'll let you run us through the results. Yeah, so of course it is Red Mat who takes pole position here with a 1 minute 7.9. The only man to break into the sevens. Oshin got so close with a 1 minute 8 flat. But he's over a 10th off Red Matt and he joins him on the front row. The championship leader, JM, currently in P3 with Senna alongside him on the second row. Ali B in P5 with Lawrence in P6. And there's an all Alpine fourth row with Westy F1 in 7th and Rydock in 8th. Then we've got the Scuderia Ferrari of Jordan in P9 and Cam Rules rounding out the top 10. Outside of the top 10, we have Jonas in 11th, Speed Knight in 12th, Quinn in 13th key in 14th cam k mum in 15th gazaman on his return down in 16th and rdr specialists unable to get a lab on the board but when it comes to specialists we've seen this so many times from him where he doesn't really get a lap in but he just finds his way to get himself up the order all the time so i'm, I'm not too concerned with specialists not being uh like not being that competitive in terms of quality time because he does uh climb his way back up uh, pretty well yep absolutely heading now into the race sunny skies currently it seems like but the weather can change around this venue so anything's possible but we will be starting 
weird sunny conditions. Uh, so gonna be an absolute cracker of a race here in the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. I mean, yeah, I mean, as it currently stands, of course, uh, we will be getting into the race uh, very shortly. Uh, we are in the small intermission uh, right now, but I mean, that quality time, the only man to be in the sevens, that's got a fail. Red map with so yeah. much confidence around you. It definitely will. Obviously, the drivers will also have one formation lap before we dig out the race. So we'll be straight into the action. We'll have some time to analyze all the tires and everything for you as well. But um, yeah, definitely. Uh, always, every good performance will fill a driver with so much confidence as well. Um, so yeah, it will definitely give him a bit of a boost. But um, it won't be easy for him in the race. It won't be easy for any one of the uh, drivers as well uh, in this race. Um, I think we're going to have a brilliant battle going on all the way for the race lead. Possibly to the end. And it's a circuit where you can make so many overtakes as well. So action is basically guaranteed in this race. Yeah, and of course, uh, as we are waiting, I'm turning my attention to the uh, the stream chat. Just to see uh, who is in and who we can say hello to in the chat. Obviously, we got the... Uh, uh, Shifter guy saying that he's the first one to message and uh, hello, how are you doing, Shifter guy? Uh, fifth, uh, fifth a tea, uh, saying good luck to Senna in the chat. So support for uh, for Senna in the chat. And Senna also responding saying uh, thank you and he'll do his best. Uh, so there's more support for Senna coming in from uh, Feynman saying uh, goat there for Senna and another bit of uh, support for Senna saying Senna for the win. And then of course <laughs> we have the returning driver here tonight of uh, Gazaman in the chat saying uh, hello. Not really for the pace but hopefully after practice he'll be back to being uh, competitive. So uh, Gazaman, I mean... Qualifying didn't go particularly well for him, but it's not the worst thing in the world, like uh, starting at the back, because uh, we've seen it several times with uh, specialists. Starting at the yeah. back can really help you just avoid anything that goes on in front of you and just slowly creep your way towards the top five result. Absolutely. Um, but obviously, the formation lap underway, tyres, Red Mat on the mediums, Ushin on the mediums, then we have JM, Senna, Ali B, Lawrence. Uh, all on those soft combat tires. Vesti on the medium. So is Jordan, Cam rules, and then Jonas, Quinn, Cam, and Specialist. And then we have Gaza, Key, Knighton, uh, and then we also have Rydog all on those soft combat tires as well. So a bit of a mix in the field, a bit of a mix between the softs uh, and the medium combat tires. But that is going to mean that the top two uh, will soon probably be overtaken by JM and Senna as these drivers are going to try hit the field, uh, hit the front of the field. Right now, remember, two stops mandatory in one hub, just as a reminder to anyone who might forget. So uh, you, won't just see, you, you won't just be seeing them enter the pits once. Uh, it will be twice uh, that the drivers will be coming through the pit lane. So a lot of different things you can do. Uh, with your strategy so gonna make it very interesting but jm and senna will definitely be absolutely electric off the line yeah absolutely them starting on the red wall a soft compound tires is definitely going to be a intriguing one especially with ali b and lawrence and behind them also on a set of softs and right dog and westy splitting the strategy with the alpines one going for a set of mediums one going for a set of the softs it's going to be intriguing uh because obviously the soft tires from history around here they generally run okay, and the mediums they do run a bit better after after around uh, seven uh, seven eight laps. The mediums are usually the much better tire at that point. But it's going to be interesting. Mandatory two stop. I mean, the soft tires do generally last a little bit longer on this game compared to the previous game. So, are we going to see uh, two sets of softs in this race? Are we going to see two sets of mediums? That's going to be the question. But thirty six laps await these guys as we await for those. Five red lights to get underway. Three, four, five red lights. Lights are out and we are underway here in Sao Paulo. And there's a great start there from Redmark. JM immediately putting pressure around the outside of Arshin into turn number one. Unable to get the move done, but he's under pressure now. From his teammate Ali B in behind him. Senna has dropped down the order. He's under pressure from Lawrence now going around the outside of him. In turn three as we run down into turn four. And I believe Key there moving up a couple of positions in the background up into P11 goes Key as his teammate Cam rules up into P11. 
nine momentarily as Westy's actually dropped down to P11. So not a very good start there from Westy. It's uh, Senna on the back of Ali B losing out to the Alpha Tower at the start of this race. Absolutely, it was a really, really a great start by Ali B. It was so close there between the two Alpha Tyrus as they all make their way down through the middle part of the lap. Who is feeling brave for some moves? Looks like Cam Rules in a battle with his teammate Key. The two Hasses running very close together. Vesti is going to have uh, some traction as well to try to get some move done on Key. He wasn't able to do so. Uh, so they're all battling their way through currently as we go on to the straight once again. But still, mediums one and two. Red Matt ahead of Oshin. So they were able to keep behind the two Alpha Tyrus who were Wobbling. Well, JM and Ali B. Senna just sitting uh, nicely as well as Rydog tries to get past Lawrence. And it's going to be Cam Rules, actually, who's going to go to the inside of the Senna S to try to get past Speed Knighton. And they're going to run wheel to wheel. Speed Knighton's going to keep his foot in. And you're going to have Cam Rules, who's going to have to back out on those mediums, not able to make that move. Yep, Cam Rules unable to make that move on Speed Knighton at this stage in the race. And honestly, uh, let's have a look at the position loss at the start of this, uh, of this race because uh, the position's changing quite a bit. The biggest loser at the start is, of course, uh, Westy dropping down four places, uh, Jordan dropping down four places, and Jonas going down six places to the back of the field. So Jonas losing the most places, and the biggest gainers is, of course, Knight and Anki both up four places apiece. Yep, absolutely. You had Gaza and Specially just battling as well. Um... So they were just going wheel to wheel in the background, but the battle for the race win ramping up three tenths of a second currently. And uh, they do have about a six tenth advantage over JM, who's probably going to be desperate to make some kind of move as well. But we're going on to lap number three. So DRS will be enabled uh, for the drivers to assist with some overtakes. Ushindo is already gaining. Without it, is he going to pull out of the system, go for the move? No, he's just going to stay behind. But he'll surely have a chance when they get on the power. You make your way through the covered assault. Then the retro Aposta comes up and then you make your way to the Cena de Lago as well. So the first taste of DOS for Ushin. But he won't be uh, close enough to go for any kind of move. Who actually in the field, uh, who in the field will actually be able to go for some moves. Looks like they're all going to be single file for now. No one rushing moves. But there is still a long way to go in this one. Yeah, absolutely. We are only on lap 3 of 36. Red Matt still leads away on the set in the mediums. JM uh, not really putting as much pressure on these medium tires as we would have thought at the start of this race. Yep, absolutely. Can I just say about uh, Cam Rules and Key as well? I think Cam should really let uh, Key through. Key on the soft compound of tires, I think he can put some more uh, attack on. And actually, the gap um, nine tenths of a second currently between Cam uh, and Knight to make that seven tenths because Knight was just a tiny bit wide as well. But look at the battle for the race lead as well. As uh, to make the way through, this is going to be the chance for Oshina with DRS. Yep, not only is it going to be a good chance for Oshina, uh, this could be a good chance for JM as well. With DRS, it's going to be able to close up to the McLaren and potentially uh, the McLaren can go from P1 down to P3 as JM down the inside in towards turn number one. He'll have the outside for turn two. It's so close between the pair of them and look at that. It is three wide Ali coming B. through turn three as Ali B there looking to get a move done as Red Matt as he just lost positions to both of the Alpha Tauris. Yes he has and in the background you can see uh, Lawrence and Senna oh. scrapping it out. Senna going backwards in this race. Absolutely, Ali B getting the move done on JM. It was wide and trying to go around the outside. That would have been brave by Red Matt. And he didn't attempt it yeah, because uh, he knows what Charles Leclerc ended up once, uh, one year ago in 2022. That's going to be a late lunge from Knighton as well, trying to get past Rydog, who's going to keep his foot in. He's going to keep the place. Great battling here on lap, lap number four now. DRS enabled, causing absolutely carnage throughout the field. And looks like I think also Key maybe had some contact or has made a mistake because he has dropped. Uh, about 4.7 seconds uh, to the back of the field. Yeah, possible contact there for Key, and hopefully it wasn't a, a Haas, uh, the two Haases coming together there, because uh, that uh, they were very close to each other on track. He did bring it up that uh, maybe Cam should move over, let his teammate go, but as it currently stands, uh, didn't look like uh, Cam wanted to yield the spot to his teammate, and... Yeah, we just see Senna again back through on Lawrence with uh, DRS down in towards turn number one. JM on the back of his teammate Ali B down the inside. He'll go into turn number four and he's going to be able to get it. Oh, oh, big snap at the rear right. there from JM. And Ali almost getting caught out by his teammate. Yeah, they had a little bit of a touch as well there uh, because you had JM fully uh, getting out of shape as he got on the power. So a little bit of 
Uh, contact between them as well. Quinn is almost in, careering into the back of us. He's going for the late descent down the inside as well. And he's going to have to take the outside line. They're banging Ooh, wheels as they go to, but it'll be Vesti who keeps that place. Here Cam came up, getting a little bit of a, a tap to the rear of that Mercedes ahead of him. So Cam K, uh, looking like he's got a bit of pace around here, wants to get forward. And Quinn did that little tap though, just potentially give him a little bit of wing damage. Uh, that's going to be the question now. As uh, Nighton and uh, Cam Rules trading positions, Cam Rules dropping down the order. Didn't have a very good run out of the final proper corner and. Down in towards turn number one is going to be Right Dog ahead of Knighton, ahead of Westy and Cam Rules uh, tried it back on the inside of Westy but unable to get that move done and he uh, still holds on to P9 but he's not a net P9. Down the inside goes Knighton as well. Right Dog's going to try to keep his foot in. He'll be wide and that'll open the door as well for his teammate. And his teammate's going to get through. And now the two Alpines are close to contact. Oh, and you're going to have Right Dog, who's going to lose to Campbell. He's going to lose to Quinn as well. But that and also uh, Cam came up also trying to make a move as well. But the two Alpines collided in real life. They're almost colliding here as well as Right Dog. Uh, but still battling away with Quinn. And you're going to have Cam trying to make a move as well. But absolute chaos between teammates in one of this race. It's been so much drama with teammates. Yeah, absolutely. The teammates. I mean, here's the thing. Uh, what's called with the team battles and that. Obviously, they they're fighting for that number one driver spot in their respective teams and that. They're fighting to be the face of their team. So they have the elbows out, but they need to remember that the, the team's going to prioritize team results over just being uh, the main driver. As look at that free wide in towards turn one. And looks like uh, Cam Rules down the inside is going to be able to get that position up in the P6. Goes to Haas. Westy uh, holds on to 7 for Knight and goes from uh, P6 down to P8. Yeah, and absolutely. Do remember the constructors also get a prize as well. So, yeah, you want to fight amongst yourselves, but you also got to keep that in the back of your mind as well. As that's going to be Jonas flying past Jordan. Nothing he can do there as well. But battles everywhere you look. Red Matt. Um, Currently, just about a whole second behind. He's now managed to get inside the one second. It was 1.4 uh, at some point as well. As uh, Ushim was just able to stretch. Clear due to the drama, Jonas oh, is dropping yes. down. And, Jord and Jord 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 Jordan dropped down as well. So have they had it coming together? Both of them. So they're going to drop down as well. So a lot of chaos happening in this one. Yeah, I'm not sure if they had contact together. Obviously, uh, Jordan was a little bit further up the road yeah. from uh, Jonas. So I think there was no contact between the pair of them. But as you mentioned... Uh, both of them uh, have an instance. Obviously, Jordan has a bit of front wing damage from the looks of things as he's missing an end plate there. And uh, Jonas doesn't appear to be missing an end plate. But Jonas, we, we heard earlier in his uh, in his questions now, we've obviously the battle between him and uh, Lawrence in the, uh, the championship. But he said he wanted a clean race just because he feels like the, some of these races just hasn't gone his way as a JM gets through on a red mat for P2 in this race. So the Alpha Tauri up in the P2, but this has absolutely been a horror race for Jonas again. Absolutely not what Jonas wanted at all. Um, Didion, they're still side by side as well as red mat tries to fight back against JM, but JM's just going to keep that place. And they were still actually battling all throughout the scrap little irk uh, and the scrap continued between the pair of them they lost about a second as well to ushin after their little battling they had uh, right down uh, at the ceiling de lago as well but yeah cam rules now holding up this little train off uh, that contains vesti speed knight and quinn and and really the action packed train i have to say a lot of action uh, has come uh, from this train as they all uh, battle their way through who is going to go for some moves now once again uh, remember they all have drs so it's all about who's going to use the ers and quinn is uh, the one using a bit of the ers he's going to go to the outside line and is uh, speed knighting going to dive it in it looks like he is going to dive it in so quinn's yeah. going to uh, get through as well and cam's going to be getting on quinn though heading into turn number one he won't be able to make the move though Yep, Westy uh, able to make the move on Cam, but as you mentioned, Quinn uh, getting for a night, the night and coming into the pits. Three second time penalty for Ride Dog early in this race, lap 9 of 36. Definitely. Uh, also getting a five second penalty while speeding in the pits as well. Ooh, I didn't actually catch that, so yeah, eagle eyes here for my co commentator uh, picking up on that. But uh, as I as I was going to say, um, night and uh, bailing out coming into the, into the pits at the end of lap 8 
Possibly a good call uh, if it wasn't for that penalty because he could get an undercut on this whole train. Yep, absolutely. And now you have uh, Campbell's all over the back of Vesti and whoever's the leader is just getting swamped currently as it stands on lap 9 of this race. And that's Vesti off the road, is he? Yep, Vesti off the road. He's going to yield uh, two positions to both Cam and Quinn. Yes, oh, oh screwy on the corner. Watch out, Cam K. Oh. Cam K able to get through. Right dog able to get through. Specialist able to get through. Senna into the pits. And I believe we're going to see a change between the Mercedes and the Haas as Quinn around the outside of Cam Rose on the entry in towards turn number one. Gets it done. Westy with a five second time penalty. And he's retired from the race. Was that contact for Westy that uh, has caused him to not have any control of that car? Yeah, absolutely. As we have Campbell's trying to fight back against Quinn, he's forced Quinn a tiny bit off the racing line, a tiny bit wide as well, but wasn't able to capitalize. Specialist uh, getting past Rydog, and is he struggling as well? Rydog seems to be struggling. Uh, so another Alpine really, really struggling, uh, but not going well for the Westies today after what happened to Frederick Westie as well uh, in the uh, real life F2 feature race as well. Lap 10 currently of 36 in uh, this one. But yeah, JM once again starting to close back the gap on Ushin with those soft combat attires. He's bringing Red Matt along with him as well. Uh, I tell you what, Oshin is doing an absolutely fantastic job in this race. He has got away from the pack and he is moving well up the order as we see Wesley's car retiring. Uh, 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 he retired in the pits but his car has come out and has gone off at turn four to retire safely out of the way. As the race leaders are piling through the center races right now as look at this. Cam Rules trying to go around the outside on Quinn. Quinn holds off the hassle. Down in towards turn one for the center S. There's a better exit there for Cam Rules. Gonna open things up for him on the run down in towards turn four. He's not in the slipstream, but there's the flash of red light that he wants to see on that Mercedes as he goes down the inside in towards turn number four. Job done there for the Haas, but on the back, look how good the traction Quinn is getting. He's trying to go up the hill. Uh, challenging cam rules and look at that cam K right in the back as well and oh big snap at the rear for Quinn and that's opened the door for cam K in the rear as well he's trying to make his way through yep absolutely incredible scrapping currently going on in this was battles absolutely everywhere and that's going to be specialist getting eager to go for a move as well on cam K as he looks for a move on Quinn as well Battles currently, uh, uh, this race currently turning into a bit of fireworks now, uh, exploding, uh, exploding us with a lot of action right now as they make their way through into the pits comes JM. So JM's diving off those soft compound tires, he'll most likely be going on those mediums unless he's going different to the rest of the field as uh, currently the, the little train head through the center S and about to make their way onto the Retro Apostle as well. Well, this is going to be interesting because obviously JM, uh, what's called, he's coming out behind uh, behind Lawrence a bit earlier in this race. He went for a big undercut, and I think he's going to come out battling his teammate uh, Ali. And let's not forget, Senna's only a second off the back of this, so Senna trying to get his way back in. Well, obviously he dropped quite some way off the back of the front pack in the first stint, and he is borderline in DRS range of uh, Ali B now. Absolutely, he is currently as they make their way uh, through with JM just ahead of uh, Ali B. The two Alpha Tauris currently on the road, not separated by March. That's Quinn getting super, super close to the rear wing of Cam, and he's surely going to make a move with Campbell stretching outside the one second. There will be DRS, there will be ERS, watch for specialist as well. So we could be getting two moves happening here. So DRS 7 for Quinn, he's going to try to get past. Cam came up now, heading down to the tie number one, and Cam covers the inside line. Quinn's going to have to go the long way around. Here comes Specialist. So, uh, Quinn gets the move done. Cam is going to keep P5, but now they're going to battle also through, uh, heading onto the Retro Aposta now with Specialist getting the DRS. Ali B getting past his teammate as well. The Alpha Tauris are battling, but now Specialist with the DRS. So does Cam, but he's using ERS to Specialist. He's going to the inside line. They're getting to Quinn with every meter that they've run. Into turn four, but Specialist is getting ahead as well as JM, as I mentioned, uh, was also able to get through and Senna looking for a move on Ali B as well. Yeah, obviously fantastic battling going on between uh, Quinn, Specialist and Cam Cam. I'm just losing a bit of touch with uh, Cam Rules up ahead. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, 
JM and Ali B uh, training position. Senna now right in this battle with the pair of them. So Senna is on the back and in this train. And you got to remember, this is essentially uh, right now a train for the race lead because obviously they're getting a nice undercut on Oshin and Redmat who have yet to make a pit stop. Oshin. Two and a half seconds ahead of the McLaren. He's absolutely flying away, is the Red Bull driver. Yep, absolutely is flying away. Is Oshin absolutely what he wanted now? Specialist has DRS and he's going to make an easy move on Quinn. Whereas Cam, Cam not close enough, maybe going uh, into turn number four might have a chance if he can get a good exit. Coming out of the center S, doesn't look like he's going to be close enough. So, um, yeah, so Specialist getting past Quinn there, moving up into P3 currently on the road. But obviously with pit stops, uh, it's still going to change that order as they make their way to Lawrence is now going to try to get past Jonas and these two uh, battling last year for the uh, championship as well uh, in one hub in the P3 tier. Lawrence now getting ahead of uh, Jonas and uh, I say last year but I should say last season it's not real life. <laughs> it, 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 obviously the season happened this year um, but um, yeah they all make their way through with oh, oh that's going to be tight yeah. JM. He's tried it and he's got it done and Ali's following him through. I was just about to say that these two uh battling out. Obviously, Jonas, Senna is going to be upset that his teammate didn't fight that a bit harder because uh, Senna, uh, what's called, had an opportunity to close back up to the two Alpha Tauris uh, with Jonas being there to maybe back him up just a little bit. But, uh, yeah, Senna is not going to be happy with his teammate not helping out there. Yep, absolutely. Now, JM trying to get past Lawrence. Lawrence will cover the inside line. JM will make that move stick as well. What Ali B coming uh, at him as well as they head into the center S as they make their way through. And here it is. It's going to be Ali B ahead of uh, Lawrence. I was battling with all the drivers coming into the pit lane as well. But yep, JM. And then Ali B currently one and two in this one as Lawrence tries to fight back, but he can't do anything. Uh, currently to fight back, looks to the inside, thinks about a little send, but no, nothing doing there for him. Yeah, and uh, as predicted with the, the pit stops, obviously these uh, these guys able to get a fantastic undercut because Oshina has come out and he's it. He's got Jonas to get through first. As uh, I'm sorry, you Jonas. Jonas was losing the rear end and Oshin was almost slamming into the back of Jonas there. So Jonas losing the rear end out of, uh, out of Ferradura. And now Oshin is pushing him through these corners. Yeah, Oshin uh, sending one down the inside. A little bit oh. of wheel to wheel contact there as uh, Jonas oh, is out onto off. the grass. And that is not what you want to do. He needs to be careful with rejoining because he does have uh, drivers coming through that sector. So he needs to be careful with the rejoin. And looks like he has managed to rejoin perfectly fine. But honestly, looking at this right now, Oshin has lost out massively here because obviously the, uh, the overcut not paying out for him. But also, Red Mat in DRS range of Nighton, who's on DRS range of Oshin, uh, it's just going to tow him wrong as uh, Nighton picks up a three second time penalty. And yeah, Jonas into the pits, and uh, rightfully so, I think uh, his tyres were definitely gone. As Senna's on the back of Lawrence. Lawrence's tires, 10 lap old. Senna's only six. And look at the grip that Senna has compared oh. to Lawrence coming through. Turn number five. We climb up the hill through the double right and uh, And will Senna have a little peek down the inside? Yeah, no, he's going to keep it uh, keep it nice and calm. But the longer he does this, the bigger that gap is to the two Alpha Tardies up ahead. Yep, absolutely. Senna. Can he make maybe a move at the center S as well? He looks super close. He's literally pushing Lawrence uh, through the corners a few corners ago now. So let's see uh, if he can get a good exit out of the final corner. And he's got a tremendous one. So this will be an easy pass for him, looks like. Can I just say, the teammates by here are not doing their teammates any any favors whatsoever. Because <laughs> look at this. Knight and his, uh, he's held off Red Mat long enough that Oshin's broken away from DRS. And Oshin's got through on oh. Lawrence as well. Oshin absolutely flying, new fastest lap from the Red Bull. He's on the back of Senna now, going to be looking to get himself up in the P3 in this race. But, yeah, this just compiles to what I was just saying. With the teammates, they're absolutely doing their teammates over. <laughs> they absolutely are. So many times they've been close to fireworks, but Oshin getting the move done to take P3 past Senna as well. But yeah, they're not really helping at all. Uh, the, 
there, 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 there really has been a lot of teammate contact, especially against the 3 second time penalty as well. But there's been so much fireworks from this race between teammates. Uh, there's been so much drama between them. So <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you got Ali and uh, JM fighting for the race win out on track. <laughs> Obviously, you had Senna being uh, held up by his team. Well, actually... His teammate not helping him by holding up the Alpha Tower, so mm -hmm. Senna had a chance uh, of getting onto the back of him. You had possibly uh, Key and Cam rules coming into contact with each other because neither of them wanted to yield the position to the other. Um, what's called? You and had Red Matt. Red Matt, uh, what's called? Not being uh, lapped through immediately by his teammate. Obviously, Red Matt now. Oh, contact! And that's the front wing off of Red Matt's car. Oh. Unfortunate for Red Map very much as now Lawrence currently just sitting in behind Senna as well. But look at the Alphatari scrapping for the win as well. And don't forget the Alpines as well. Vesti uh, and you had also a Ride Dog who's just had a spin. But they were very close to contact as well. So, uh, yeah, there's been so much drama. Almost every team. Knighton. Is that going to be a safety car? It's oh, going to be interesting to see. But no signs of it currently. No signs of virtual or safety car at all right now. Ah, and it's uh, been swept up absolutely uh, quick and efficiently from uh, from the track. Uh, lap 18 of 36, JM leads away from his teammate in second place. It's an Alpha Tauri, a 1-2, as Ali B is just flirting on the edge, that one second window of his teammate. Oshin is uh, currently at uh, 1.8 off the back of Ali B. Needs to try and uh, use the grip of his tyres to pull himself back up. Of course, they are on two alternate, alternating uh, strategies. So, Oshin will have the grip to close up and will have soft tyres at the end of this race. Uh, Senna looks like he's just absolutely got no pace around here. He's going to be overtaken by Lawrence here. And Lawrence, oh, oh that is so <laughs> close there between Lawrence and Senna. Lawrence threw back up in the P4. Uh, Senna, obviously, he wanted to do well here because of his namesake, but. It's, it's not going his way at the moment. Absolutely, but I have to say, Lawrence, it's really risky to go down the inside uh, uh, and take the inside line there because the outside line was fully open and, and with the DRS, he would have easily been clear into the bringing zone. So a bit of a risk there taken out to say about Lawrence going to the inside. Really close to contact uh, as well. But yeah, Alphatari, one and two here, nine tenths, currently separating them two, but they're going to be chased down by Oshin. Now, can they both work together uh, or will Oshin be able to make the move? Because currently it doesn't look like Oshin uh, is, is going to be looking rapid and surely going to be making some moves as Rydog is out as well. Does that cause a safety car virtual? I'm no right not now. sure. Obviously the last car uh, going through that area right now of uh, Key, so I'm guessing not. No. As Senna gets back through on along some back up into people goes to Williams and look at that Oshin. Within one second now of Ali and Ali not uh, in DRS range of his teammate. So now, does JM play the team game? We need to see teammates actually working together because they've not worked together so far. Uh, Is JM going to back up a little bit to make sure his teammate has DRS? Going to be interesting. Uh, I mean, it could kind of save his race as well because is she just going to fly past Ali B, then fly past JM? So, I mean, what else choice do you have? As well as they were lagging from me, so I thought Oshin spun for a second. <laughs> yeah, I had a big, uh, big old screen freeze as well as uh, uh, Ray Dog leaves the session. I think that's why we had the screen freezes. Look at that, Oshin around the outside Whoa. of Ali B. Ali able to hold on, but now with DRS, it's just going to be uh, relatively nice and easy for Oshin to just cruise on through with DRS, get the job done in towards turn number one. Doesn't even need his DRS. But he does use a little bit, and that could allow Ali just to come back at him down the run in towards turn four. Senna into the pit, so his second pit stop. Lap 21 of 36. Red map with a five second time penalty. Remember, he had front wing damage as well. That's why uh, he was uh, falling back a bit. But a front wing change, a time penalty. This does bring the likes of uh, Cam Rules, Lawrence, and uh, Cam King, man. And even specialist to a certain point into a top five yep. finisher. Yep, it absolutely uh, does. Is currently all of them making their way through, but Oshin gonna have a big, big chance. He's gonna be gaining on uh, JM, and he's surely gonna be making this move as soon as possible as they make their way 
currently through and he's going to be getting inside the one second. I mean, he could even be ready to go for this move as soon as we get down into the, the Cedar de Lago. Use the first DRS to close up a tiny bit and then the second one uh, to maybe make the pass as well. We'll have to wait and see. Seven tenths a gap. That should close down to around, I want to say, around half a second if he's not using ERS and he is not using ERS. So he's going to close up to, yeah, there we go, around about six tenths. There we go, five tenths. And I think uh, Oshin's just going to save a bit of ERS off the back of uh, JM right now. Yep, absolutely. Currently, Oshin just going to stay in behind, use the DRS. Then maybe when it's a more slam dunk move, because he really doesn't need to, uh, he doesn't need to push too much for this move. He, he has the tires underneath him currently. He has the, the he has the speed he needs, uh, so he should be able to make uh, this move when we come around with DRS next time around. Just like Red Max uh, managed on Jordan, that's Red Max improving to 11th position. Uh, the McLaren driver gets past the Ferrari. So, yeah, very very interesting. But yeah, Ushin now is really really close. So um, I think we're definitely going to be seeing a move here. Yeah, and I don't think Oshun's going to use any ERS to get through. But also, we got another nice little battle brewing. Lawrence has been caught up by Cam Rules, who has a uh, specialist in behind him for a toe. So, uh, specialist will be looking at a double overtake here. But we'll revert back to the front because Oshun now on the back of JM. I don't think either of them are going to use ERS here because they know the outcome. It's just going to be Oshun into P1. Ali B's been dropped now. And now we're going to revert back to this battle for P4. Lawrence dives into the pits and 16 lap on those mediums, I'm not surprised to see him diving into the pits. Absolutely, I'm not surprised either. Diving it in. Yeah, they're trying to fight back against Oshin. Is he going to go around the outside? Surely uh, not, and he's going to be pushed right if he even tried it. Losing a bit of time on the exit, but Oshin is through into the race leaders. We start to see more pit stops from the drivers. Yeah, now if you're JM, do you come into the pits this lap and chuck on another set of mediums? Because realistically, Oshin's going to put on the, set of the, the sauce at the end of this race. So he's going to be rapid. You want to get as many uh, as many laps on this undercut as possible. Do as JM jump into the pits this lap? Uh, it is really, really, really a hard one. Uh, when do you uh, pit? So it's going to be interesting though. Does he decide uh, to dive it in? How many lap 23 out of 36 in this one as well? So, JM just sitting in behind right now. Oshin, as they make the way to using the DRS on this lap, still inside Ali's one second. In. Ali B, Ali, yeah, Ali B dives it into the pits as well. And Ali was uh, the driver who pitted first in the Alfa Tauris uh, earlier in the race as well. He is on for a podium finish uh, as it currently stands. A specialist gets through on Cam Rules up into the podium position goes specialist. And once again, specialist is having another one of those races where he's just climbing his yeah. way through the order. Cam fighting back uh, as well, trying to at least, and he's going to be overtake specialist as well. So great driving by both of them. Uh, as they battle through, but yeah, a lot of uh, interesting stuff now happening with the pitch stop strategy starting to take place as well on lap 24 out of 36 of this race here around Interlagos. Uh, this brilliant venue designed in, uh, designed for a lot of overtaking. It is a very historic one, and uh, it's it, it's uh, obviously it's historic uh, uh, and it's one of uh, and it's also good for modern Formula One as well. Loads of overtaking opportunities gives you great back-to-back -back battles. As well. JM's in. Yep, JM diving it into the pits from second place in the Grand Prix right now. Yep, and it's going to be interesting because his teammate has come up right behind uh, Quinn, so he's not getting a bit of fresh air. Specialist gets back through on Cam Rules back up in the P3, so now be P2 as they uh, jump ahead of JM. JM bolting on a second set of soft tyres, so he's gone soft, medium, soft for this uh, final stint and that's going to make things very interesting because Oshin's going to go on the set of the sauce at the end JM is going to get the undercut and he's going to have the uh, luxury of soft tyres on the start of this stint and he's actually come out well ahead of his teammate his teammate's lost too much time behind Quinn yep absolutely so Alibi was his setup currently still going on on the circuit as well they were both able to get past Quinn on that lap uh, but on the same straight as well I have to say so great by them but great race so far 
here as they make their way through, but still the strategy, I have to say, uh, really is going to play a massive part in this. And uh, to decide who's going to take victory, I don't think it's over by any means yet, so still a lot to happen strategy rise in this one to decide the winner. Yeah, absolutely, as uh, JM absolutely flying on those soft tyres right now as he's uh, going around, obviously, uh, Oshin yet to make a split stop. He will make a split stop and pull the set of the soft tyres. Specialist in, Cam Rules in as well. And, oh my God, Cam Rules with a big rear lockup on the entry into the pits. That's lost him a lot of time to uh, Specialist. And that actually uh, could allow Specialist to be over a second clear of uh, Cam Rules. Red mats down there at the back. What could have been for the McLaren as he looks down the inside of Key and gets that move done. So, Red Matt up into P13, but no way he wants to be Gazaman on his return up into P12. Uh, I believe we're going to be waiting for another pit stop coming in from the uh, Aston Martin. Jordan currently in P11 as uh, Camrose rejoins, and he is quite some way off the back of uh, oh, especially It says eight tenths for me, but that's more than eight tenths. Yep, definitely is uh, more than eight tenths. Uh, in that strap oh, currently going on. Cam K. I just I got scone on board with this. Cam K doing the teamwork favor. We're seeing teammates oh, working together here. Wow. That's Cam K backing up uh, oh. JM, doing his teammate oh. an absolute solid, and he's going to try and defend you to make sure <laughs> that JM can't get through so easily. Oshin's in the pits right now, and look yeah. at that. Cam K's into the pits as well, <laughs> so he's done an absolute wonder job for his teammate. As Oshin's coming out of the pits right now, JM coming through. Turn number one. Can JM get enough of a gap on Oshin in this race lead battle? As Oshin's going to come out, he's going to come out ahead of Ali B, who uh, is going to be within one second, just about. Actually, no, he's just outside it. Oshin only just behind JM, and now is race on for the end of this race. Race on indeed, what a scrap this is going to be. JM uh, versus Ushin. Ushin with a bit of the fresher tyres. Uh, and, uh, and they could help him right uh, in the last two laps as well. Ali B, has he made it? Uh, Ali B's now dropped down as well, one position as well. So, uh, yeah, we do have yellow flags to the third sector. But for the race lead, incredible work. In a race that we haven't seen teammates working together. Red Bull's team, uh, Red Bull, absolutely working together uh, to give... Um, to give Ushin a chance and kind of the Perez look strapping uh, in... Uh, I'm not going to mention the race, but you know what I'm talking about a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Perez has been an absolute animal in that race, if I remember correctly. As yeah. uh, Ushin within DRS range of JM now and lap 28 of 36. It's going to be a straight fight between these two. Ali making that mistake has uh, put him under pressure now because... Not only has he got uh, Senna to kind of catch up back up to, obviously Senna's not really shown much in terms of the, the race pace here uh, of the guys around him. I mean, Lawrence, uh, with that penalty, could uh, potentially close up to these two. And you've got Specialist and Cam Rules and Cam K Mum on soft tyres uh, flying their way through this track as well. Yeah, great battle now building up as well for P1 as they go through, as we mentioned uh, now quite a lot of times, but Ushi now really getting colour, so he's making, he's giving himself, this is a good thing, he's giving himself quite a few laps now uh, to go for this race win, and this could be a yo-yo, uh, basically, with Ushi taking the lead and JM retaking it, so uh, it, it, it's really going to be interesting. Now DRS is going to be open for Ushi, and he's going to be gaining with every metre that we head towards the centre S. Yeah, absolutely. As uh, Oshin with DRS, he's not using his DRS and he's not using ERS. He's just sitting behind JM, saving up that ERS because he knows once he gets the move done, he needs to pull away. And uh, JM currently using ERS to pull away. Specialist with a new fastest lap of the race. It's a 1 minute 9.8 from Specialist. Surely, surely uh, that lap time will only get, uh, get beaten by Oshin as he. Uh, Guess DRS and uh, guess through on uh, JM, but he needs to do it pretty qu quick, otherwise his tyres are going to fall off. Yep, absolutely. Uh, I don't know if he's leaving it till a bit of a last lap thing, but he's not really using DRS. And if, if he was to take it to a last lap thing and he remains this close, then I would say Ushin's going to absolutely mug JM uh, um, 
uh, in that case because of the ERS that Ushin has. JM now is going to try to save some up as well, but um, uh, Ushin just currently at the uh, at a bit of the advantage as well as they head now all the way through to the end of the lap and make their way now through once again with DRS. Just a tiny bit of ERS being used by Ushin for a, a few seconds, about a second really. Uh, but DRS once again open for Ushin as he tries to get past JM and he's now using ERS. Here he comes. Job done. Simple, easy pass, nothing, nothing JM could do unless now he uses uh, DRS and drives the right but look how far behind he is and the ERS and you can see Ushin has the ERS to do and he's using the ERS to make sure that he stays ahead and not even give JM any bit of a chance unless JM stays close, that's a done deal, Ushin absolutely roars past. Yeah, as we just see Ali B now getting them all done on centre that he needed to do. But Senna is trying to come back at him. He's going to fly side by side wow. up the hill into the double right-hander as Senna back on the inside. But look at this. It's allowed Lawrence to get onto the back. And now Specialist is on the back as well. Oh, just incredible racing as usual once again. Between all of these guys fighting over third position. Senna with those older medium tyres. Ali B with the freshest. And then you have your Lawrence also with seven laps as well so incredible stuff currently all of these drivers battling all the way to the end to see who is gonna come out on top and it's gonna be now surely DRS for Ali B set up slowing down a tiny bit Ali B is gonna get the move done and I think also surely Lawrence is gonna follow through and Lawrence might actually look for look for an Ali B oh Senna's actually done the smart thing here. he's uh, yeah. got DRS and he's coming back through Lawrence coming through as well Lawrence down the inside of Ali B Ali B trying to go around the outside or oh. turn the inside for the second part of the center messes and this job done there for Ali B. Watch oh, is it? As Lawrence, though, trying to fight back. He'll have the inside four, turn number three. We'll oh. go with Special. Special trying to make a free wide down into turn four. Down the inside, go. They go. Ali B get a fantastic switch back. And look oh. at that Special in back. the wall. Oh, that was always going to happen. They were running wheel to wheel continuously. It was a great scrap. Unfortunately, though, a bit of contact has ruined uh, that battle currently going on between them. Lawrence is still staying, uh, was trying to stay inside the one second, but he will have a penalty applied at the end of the race as well. But absolutely, disappointment for Specialist. Yeah, it was one race too many where he started at the back and uh, navigated his way through without instance. That was a big instant for Specialist and Ali B. Uh, coming through turn four, Ali B getting a fantastic switchback, so he was able to get himself alongside the uh, the Alfa Romeo, but contact absolutely uh, ruined both of their chances, and I think Ali B uh, might have got away without damage, but now he has cam rules on fresher, softer tyres coming through, and he's going to try and get his way up the order. Uh, Lawrence on the back of Senna, and Lawrence with two lap fresher tyres does have a bit of an advantage as a uh, Specialist with a five second uh, time point for speeding in the pit lane is gonna really drop down the order now. So, heartbreak for Specialist. Uh, was doing well, but that is racing. And of course, uh, the stewards will be looking at that post race. I can assure you of that. Yeah, absolutely. They will surely be taking a look uh, at a bit of that uh, as well. And along with all of the things that the drivers do report as well as they currently make their way through lap 32 of this one so i think we could be seeing a few moves across the uh pack as well but um it does look like that uh Ushin and jm both settled first and second unless something goes wrong for both of those drivers at the front of the field and uh cam rules versus ali b is going to be a bit of an interesting scrap soft tires for cam rules so this one might not even last for too long because when Cam opens the DRS and when he goes for the move, he's using a bit of ERS now. DRS being used, he's going to be gaining. And also, uh, we're going to have Lawrence getting past center. They're battling, but here comes Cam Rules down the inside as well. And you're going to have Lawrence getting past center. He's going to go round. Senna's lost it. Senna's made contact and he's gone round now. Ali B, can he re overtake Cam Rules as we make our way through Covered Assault? Then now down the Retro Aposta. Ali B, is he going to tuck in the system? No, he might just stay behind unless he goes for a late send down the inside. It might be the outside line. He won't go. Uh, for anything there, but unfortunately for Senna, as he falls all the way down to 7th place. Yeah, Senna, Lawrence here, that battle just didn't go the way for Senna. I wasn't on board with this, I didn't see uh, if there was contact between the pair of them, but now, this battle between Karen Rules and Ali B is a battle for potentially the final podium position, as Gazaman loses it through 
the final uh, break-ins on the final traction zone and uh, he has a spin key has been struggling out there as well I've noticed uh, the white dot of the Haas uh, spinning a few times and lap 34 now we're about to begin uh, no sorry we are on lap 34 now so not long left to go in this race 4.5 seconds a gap between Lawrence and Cam Rules 6 tenths the gap between Cam Rules and Ali B Cam Rules on soft tyres needs to pull away from Ali B but with DRS it's almost impossible for the Haas to get away and he needs to use his soft tyres to get back within 3 seconds of Lawrence to try and take the final spot on the podium he absolutely uh, does um Right now, as on lap 34, we go as they currently make their way through. So, what is Ali B going to be able to do uh, to try and fight back? But I have to say, uh, Cam has had a fantastic race as well. Uh, Cam, absolutely a, a fantastic race, up nine places where he started as well. So, incredible stuff uh, by Cam. The fastest laps being traded as well. Yeah, brand new fastest lap coming in there and. As you mentioned, uh, Cam, obviously we have to differentiate between uh, the two Cams because of course we've got Cam Rules and Cam K-Man. <laughs> Both of them are having yeah. uh, very good races. Cam Rules now getting outside that one second on Ali B. So Ali B needs to use some ERS coming off uh, the final break-in zone to try and close back up. But it's 1.2, so he's not going to have DRS. And now Cam Rules can focus on trying to get the final spot on the podium. 4.2. Three seconds the gap between himself and Lawrence 1.3 seconds is what he needs to bring himself onto the podium will we see the Haas joining the Alpha Tauri and the Red Bull on top of the podium we're on the penultimate lap of the race Alshin has driven so fantastically well JM gave him a big challenge in this race but unfortunately just uh, didn't have the pace to match the Red Bull thus far and of course uh, Lawrence, it's been a fantastic race for him, but that penalty could see him uh, eclipse off of the podium. And Cam Rules uh, has managed to avoid all the carnage. And uh, apart from uh, the early laps where he was battling with his teammate down in 14th, it's actually been a very cool, calm race for the Haas driver. Ali B, he was on for the podium, but that mistake that we saw from him dropped him down behind Senna and put him really under the pressure with uh, Lawrence and uh, obviously Specialist uh, being in the mix as well and that instant between Ali B and Specialist has really uh, not helped him but we're on the final lap of the race JM trying to push to try and come back at Oshin but it is just a little too little too late he needs a mistake now from the Red Bull driver yeah absolutely he'll need some kind of mistake he'll need some kind of moment if he wants to have any chance right at the end but if Oshin can survive the rest of this lap he is going to be on his way to take race victory for Red Bull yeah Oshin has been driven fantastically well uh, JM has pushed him but it's just not been enough from the Alpha Charity as uh, the Mercedes the gap is 4.1 seconds so unless Campbell's can find a second on this final lap he should be safe from Lawrence, unless Lawrence has picked up a second time penalty, which we haven't seen, as Gazaman picks up a three second time penalty as well. But on board with Oshin as he comes across the line to take victory here in Brazil for round number four. It is the Red Bull on the top step of the podium, and it is the sister team of the Alpha Tauri joining him on the podium in P2. The championship leader JM busts the line in second place, Lawrence will come home in p3 and i think he has enough to stay ahead of cam rules yes he does cam rules p4 ali b p5 cam k mum in p6 oh. senna crosses the line in p7 jonas getting a bit out of shape that could be interesting because here comes Race quinn fun. here comes red Matt. this is going to be a drag race to the line between these three drivers drs is not there for quinn but it is there for Red Matt to the line and it's going to be Jonas across the line ahead of Quinn. Red Matt comes home in P10. Specialist will come across the line in 11th but will lose that to Jordan who uh, finishes 11th. Uh, Specialist down in 12th. Gazaman in 13th and of course uh, Speed Key. Kieran going to be uh, crossing the line in P14. Our three non-finishers. Both of the Alpines of Rydog. And Westy and of course Speed Nathan in this race. What an incredible race 
It was here at Interlagos. JM, they're having to settle for second position. Jonas was actually watching him. He had a spin right to the last corner, which actually meant uh, that uh, that was it became a drag race, and he was just able to hang on. Uh, all of those drivers in that little train um, had a three-second uh, as well, so it would have uh, would have been whoever finished ahead on the circuit, and Jonas was just able to hang on ahead of Quinn. Yeah, just about, but it is that man, Oshin, taking victory here in sao paulo in interlagos he has done it he has got the top step of the podium and i believe that's his first win of the season as well the red bull absolutely doing the business here in brazil as we've seen many times in the past red bulls doing the business but joined on the podium by the championship leader jm who i believe uh, extends the gap with a fantastic second place performance and lawrence in, in a race where we were talking about Lawrence and uh, Jonas being close on points, that has definitely widened the gap now between uh, Lawrence and Jonas. But we'll run you for the order one more time. It is, of course, Oshin taking win, JM in second place, Lawrence in third, Cam Rules in fourth, Ali B in fifth, Cam K Mam in sixth, Senna in seventh, Jonas in eighth, Quinn in ninth, and Red Matt rounding out the top ten. The first slap inside the top ten will go to Lawrence for a ten flat. Then outside the top ten, we got Jordan. Uh, specialist who got the fastest lap of the race in its entirety with a 9.4. Gazaman in 13th, Kieran in 14th, and then our non finishers of Rydog, Knighton, and Westy. Absolutely extraordinary race. That was really, really exciting all throughout. Um, so, yeah, a great race around uh, Interlagos. I think I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? I thoroughly enjoyed that, and now I'm going to come to you for our <laughs> Driver of the Day nomination. Cam. Uh, Cam came on. You're going to go Cam came on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? That was, un that was unexpected for you. <laughs> yeah, normally you go for the uh, the obvious ones. Uh, yeah, definitely unexpected. But uh, <laughs> go on, what is your question for uh, Cam came on here for today's race? Um... Well, to be honest, I think it's going to have to be somewhat about, uh, well, I think it's got to be about uh, something related to his uh, qualifying. So, um, does he think that he needs to work a tiny bit on his qualifying? Because we usually see him doing a bit of a, a recovery drive. Uh, so, uh, is he lacking somewhat in qualifying pace or is he just not able to get the laps together? Uh, because we usually, because because I also remember earlier on the season, he also got a drive off the day for the same reason, making up a lot of moves uh, as well in the race. So um, is his qualifying pace a tiny bit lacking as well to his race pace or uh, is he just not able to get the lap together in qualifying usually? Well, obviously, uh, we'll be interested to find out the answers from Cam K on that. Of course, uh, I am going to give my driver of the day to Oshin. And I'm going to say uh, congratulations on a fantastic win. Did you expect to have this kind of pace out there on track, uh, especially with the race pace being able to pull away when you had both of the Alpha Tauris, uh really working together to really throw a spanner in the works? And how did it feel uh, to cross that line and take victory here in Brazil? So that is, of course, going to be my question for Oshin. But with that, it does bring an end to uh, round number four here in Brazil. But of course, before we go, we will be doing a shout out to our sponsors, of course, of Next Level Racing, providing some fantastic awards for the drivers, as you can see on the screen. Uh, obviously, Aztec uh, providing sim racing boots uh, sim pu uh, pure sim gear providing a pair of sim racing gloves or socks the mystery sim uh, box mystery shirt box of course uh, providing that of course uh, working with ERT with the going get stuff award and we're going to be seeing uh, awards go for that of course that is uh, the requirements in the Go and Guess itself award and of course a shout out to our partners first and foremost with uh, ERT of course uh, Vesperton uh, also another partner and of course our final partner at Sim Grid and with that that is going to bring an end to round number four at Brazil next week I believe 
we will be traveling to let me just get the calendar up uh, yeah we'll be uh, traveling to my personal favorite track right this oh. is my favorite track of Suzuka we are going to Ooh. Japan uh, actually not not next week uh, we do have a week break from the looks of it as it's yeah. scheduled yeah. on the time so yeah we won't be back next week uh, it will be in a fortnight's time as we head to my favorite track we go to Suzuka <laughs> And honestly, the only figure of eight circuit on the calendar, such iconic races, such iconic moments around that track. And it is a track where I think we could see a lot of action. But of course, uh, any final words from yourself or me before we wrap things up here tonight? <laughs> well, I should have remembered that, to be honest, because Jess actually told me uh, this morning as well about it, that it was a break week. But yeah, Suzuka is going to be an absolute thriller. And also, Ushin, um Obviously, as it's his rookie season, hasn't won a race this season uh, uh, as well. Uh, he, um, uh, he's also won his first race in one half as well. So, congratulations to him uh, as well. So, going to be an interesting one though at Suzuka uh, in a fortnight's time. Who's going to take victory? This season is just this season is really close. It's anyone's win. So, I guess you're going to have to join us to find out. Yeah, of course, and there's a confirmation of uh, the week break, and of course the uh, calendar up on screen for you guys right now and with that that is going to bring an end to the action here tonight in p2 of course uh, p1 is going on right now on youtube so make sure you guys head on over to the one hub youtube channel to make sure you guys are catching up with all of the action in the top flight here in one hub and we will be back in a fortnight's time for round number five at suzuka i've been having mike he has been on me and we'll catch you in two weeks time good night